Let's have a look at the new 4K option available on the Unique Q500. In the past, the uh, 1080p video off of the drone was actually very, very good quality. Um, the gimbal is excellent and did very nice smooth shots. The new 4K video, though, uh, offers some, some interesting options that are available. And uh, for those like to work in photography, would probably enjoy that. The 4K video uh, comes preset at 100 ISO and 1 50th of a second, which makes for very smooth uh, pictures. And it has a essentially a filter, which is gorgeous in this case here. Essentially, it vivids up the colors a little bit. You can go natural or raw or night adjustment on that as well. The old CGO2 tended to be a little oversaturated in yellow. This one has an adjustment on ISO. Here the, I brightened the image to 800 and then backed it off to 100 ISO. So you see that under different lighting conditions I have a lot more control just over the brightness itself. White balance has always been an issue on the uh, CG02 camera. Um, moving white balance tend to become blue or amber depending on the orientation to the sun. In this case here I've got a cloudy white balance I've chosen on the uh, camera and uh, I can adjust that. Here I've got a sunny white balance. So you can see that it has made it more blue. In addition to that I can white balance it to a fluorescent light, incandescent, uh, an evening shot or an automatic white balance as well. I'm going to keep the cloudy and I'm going to lock that in so it doesn't change no matter what my orientation of the camera is or what the camera is pointing at. Again in the past the white balance of the camera was highly affected by whatever it happened to be looking at. Nice thing about this uh, video is that I can do all these adjustments on the fly. So if I see the picture getting too dark, like here at 100 ISO, I can increase the gain effectively to 800 ISO and I've got a very usable picture where in the past I just couldn't use that video whatsoever. During the video, essentially it's like taking a series of high quality frames and I can pull a frame out of that video using Shave Video or some other software. Or I can take an individual photo, this DNG photo is a high quality 24 megabit uh, image, certainly good for blow-ups. But in either case, both images are quite workable. The JPEG generally doesn't have the density of data in the particular shadow zones. So if you want to work at it later in Photoshop, you may not want that. The DNG does and uh, allows you to pull out quite a bit more data in there. It's a large file and it takes a lot more horsepower for your computer to handle it. But both are quite good. And if you're just putting photos into a video or into a smaller size album, you might not need all that extra DNG quality. Here we're going to take about 10% of that image out, crop down until you can see that it's still a very nice uh, usable image. And I pulled an image out uh, of the video just into JPEG and it's, it's quite usable as well. It's about a 4 megabit file versus 24. You can see it's a much smaller file size but still retains a lot of the image information. If I pull single frames out, I can also zoom quite a ways down into that frame or I can enhance it in Photoshop later. You can see that I've dialed up a number of, uh, brought the color up here in saturation. Or I can zoom into it and crop down. And that's really one of the beauties of 4K video is the ability to crop down into that frame and still retain pretty high quality or even high def output at 1080p. So it's a great option for those that are into photography, adjusting the settings in the air, having an infinite selection of frames that you can pull out of that video for stills. And it's pretty much the future of photography, 4K video. Is it time to get on board? Well, those prices are going to come down. They're very large file sizes. You're going to have to have a lot of storage. And it takes a bit of demanding horsepower on your computer and a nice display to display it properly. So it may not be for everybody. Thanks for watching.